for the night and shit, all right? You know what I'm saying? But if we wanted to go to that planet right now, we can go there without loading it. I'm going to show you right now. <clears throat> I'm basically on this on this spot right here because it had hella money and I was getting getting paper. What's up, Vork? How you doing, fam? Uh, all right, so should we get Suicide Squad out of the way? Or what? Yes, yes, let's debate it. Okay, so... The first hour of this movie was fucking incredible. And it's like when they crashed that fucking helicopter and started fighting those weird possessed people. Mm -hmm. It just got completely retarded. It, it kind of didn't even make sense though. Uh, somebody brought up in the homies channel, he was like, uh, he was like, it doesn't even make sense. He was like, Amanda Waller was like, <clears throat> Uh, she can create soldiers that can take shots to the head and survive, but Deadshot was shooting them in the head, and they were dying, like the the monsters that she was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, what was stupid was they did a flashback scene and showed us something that we already knew. When like she went all fucking rogue, and the fuck and her fucking brother was in the subway getting all crazy. Right. They like re-showed that part, like him telling the squad what happened. It's like we just saw this though. Yeah. Like, like you get what I'm saying, right? Like, like th they did a flashback on something they already had shown. Wait, which part? All right, when <clears throat> when Incubus first started fucking tripping in the subway, and then Enchantress went like rogue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. When fucking. Deadshot found the fucking files in the crash helicopter and like threw it at fucking Rick Flag yeah. and Rick Flag explained what happened. It's like they showed it like it was a flashback scene. Oh true. But they had already showed it. Yeah, they did. You're right. And I was just like <laughs> That's true. It's like it was exactly it was like, the same perspective too. Yeah, and it's just like what did you just show us that we didn't already know? I thought that was so fucking retarded, dude. Yeah. And I'm like, do you really have that much contempt for your fucking Audience, this is so stupid. No, I agree. And then, like, just scenes where Will Smith was like, well, Lady, you are evil. I was like, This was the best I could fucking come up with. And, like, the Diablo dude, as cool as he was, his last words were, You're screwed. I would have been like, You're fucked, bitch. Yeah, you know it what was, but it was weird, like, uh, fucking, uh, People brought up in chat. They were like, they're like, homie, you know, they didn't even, like, they didn't even say anything when he died. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. Yeah, and and then like, mentioned. and then like, uh, Deadshot just keeps on randomly taking his mask on and off and his eyepiece on and off, and I'm just like, what are you doing? You're Deadshot. Yeah. Like, why would you put your mask on? Like, oh, like the shit's about to go down in this fucking office room, but it's like you just killed like. 30 of these dudes down down on the street and now for he just puts his mask on for like what so his face won't get fucking scratched or yeah. or yeah, it, no it, it one will really recognize him yeah and harley quinn was like pussy i'm just like what why like what's even going on and then joker was so True. underused he was underused like a motherfucker dude and that that's was was a sad part <clears throat> i mean I don't know. wasn't... He, he had, like, a couple memorable lines, though. Like, I don't know. His laugh was pretty awful, though. But yeah. I guess I get it, though. I don't even remember what his laugh was. It was like... It was like a slow clap, but for a laugh. Like, ah, ah, Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> I actually yeah. thought that was kind of cool. That's exactly what it was. Well, I thought he was a G, dude. That's exactly he was, what he was. was walking around. He didn't give a shit, dude. Yeah, he was a G, though. Like, I didn't think I was going to like him, but I thought he... It was weird how he was all like... <sighs> yeah, he I was, was like, that's so hard. creepy, like, dude. His breath he was just him. a different Joker, though. You know, like, he was more like a mobster, you know what I'm saying? Kicking in the club. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of common and shit. And yeah. I was just like... I don't know. It just seemed to me like... <laughs> it just seemed to me like the, the Warner Brothers had them fucking, like, change it or some interference or some shit. They had to be because there was... I mean, if you look at the trailer, dude, none of the shit that was in the trailer was in the fucking movie. Just, like, none of the shit that was in the trailer of this game is in this game. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. And, and what was kind of stupid was how Amanda Waller actually ended up being, like, right next door 
<clears throat> to where Enchantress was, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, why wouldn't she distance herself? Like, like, like she should have been like across the country, you know? And True. she and and like the big twist of that part was like she was. Well, no, the worst part was like, why was the brothers fucking? head thing just like sitting in a bathroom somewhere like what the fuck was that shit about like enchantress when she grabbed her brother's head she like teleported right to it and it was just like in a fucking room like in a storage room on top of a shelf i don't even remember dude she like literally teleported she like she was like she's like on the bed and that's when she was talking to rick flag and she's like shh and he's like okay 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 and then she teleported she fucking went and go Grab the niggas fucking thing. It was like on a shelf. It was like nobody around. Was dim lights and shit. Like a computer room or some shit. I swear to you. Well, dude. And then it was like, who is this dude? We know that he's a. And that scene with her. And it, they tell you. No, no. They tell you at the very beginning of the movie when you read her name. Like it says, she says, brother is Incubus. It literally tells you that at the very beginning when they tell you the powers. It says, brothers. I'll show you. Before you did, I can't show it on street, but I'll show you. I actually you remember that, yeah. But I didn't know that was his like name, yeah. Um, but it's like the part with her in the room with all the generals and shit. I actually really liked that part. Yeah. And the dude was like, "Don't touch me! Don't touch me!" I thought that shit was funny. That was funny. Though. But then there's like the flashback with Joker and Harley. It's like. It's cool and all, but, like, this should have been saved for, like, the movie with just... And the whole part where, like, Batman just domed her in the fucking face. Yeah. Underwater was kind of cool. And cool. and the whole interaction with Deadshot and Batman was kind of cool. Me too. But, but it was weird because Joker never really interacted with anybody in the Suicide Squad. If you think about it, he only interacted with Harley Quinn. Well, he wasn't even in the Suicide Squad. No, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, he literally shouldn't even have been there then. Like, it was it was just weird because, you know, he, well, here's, he, he never Well, here's what was him. even dumber. Remember when they were carting him out of the jail in the fucking wheelchairs and they were all high out of their minds? And that prison guard just went up in front of, like, 30 people and put this cell phone in Harley's hand. Like, yeah. Joker will be in contact. Yeah, it was, like, like, all loud and it's shit. It's like, what <laughs> the fuck? He just did this shit out in plain <laughs> sight, dude, and no one said shit. They didn't say anything. Like, he just he gave her a... He was loud as fuck, too. Yeah, he's like, he was hey, loud. He's like, hey, Harley, <laughs> Harley, Joker's gonna be going, here's his cell phone. And, like, they're just marching and yeah. shit. I was like, dude, what in the fuck? Yeah. Right. I don't know. I thought the movie was kind of duty, but the Joker was definitely. It was just a wasted opportunity all around. I agree. They should have just done a Joker Harley Quinn movie. Right? I think that would have been better, man. Or, like, I don't know. Had you did it, had you did it right, if. Could have been good, but the, the problem was like Enchantress was just whack. The third fucking like third act, it got so weird. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was even even when it was even after the first hour, it was like somewhat believable. And then like that third act hit when she was like the fucking big ass ring came out of nowhere, and it was like it was like what the fuck is going on, dude? Like like what was weird was like she was like tripping about her heart being stabbed, but as soon as she found her brother. She's like, go get strong. And then she came back to her brother. She's like, help my heart. And he like put his hand in her and she was good. Like, what the fuck you need your heart for then, bitch? You should just go hide that shit. You're already doing what you're doing. What's the problem? You need a little bit longer to charge up or some shit? Like, I don't, I didn't even get what you mean. I, I fucking know what you're talking about. He just like healed her instantly. Yeah, he was like, brr, brr. he's like, where's your heart? She's like, ah, oh, they have it. <laughs> and he's like yeah boom and she's like better yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what better happened better now though. what uh -huh. the fuck and I was like this shit looks like some fucking some fucking low budget ass like Brendan Fraser mummy <laughs> shit with his incubus dude yeah he would look weird as fuck and then the dude. dumb ass things they were fighting added no tension to the entire fucking you didn't get it and that's what I said Amanda Waller was like they, she he, he, she can create soldiers that can take headshots to the dome, and then dead shots is like blah blah. blah. I'm just like dumping on him, hella easy, dude. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You hacker. Ah, that movie was fucking putrid. 
<laughs> it's pretty when you like analyze it's pretty bad and then like Captain Boomerang is like oh I get fucking four years off of of a fucking no no I get ten years off of a fucking triple life sentence he's like what the fuck let's play or some shit and she's like let's play and then it like goes right back to jail and he's just in jail like let me out <laughs> let me out I'm just like what just happened yeah dude? And then the whole thing with Will Smith fucking talking with his daughter. That was kind of funny, but not really. That was okay. But it was, it was weird, though. Like, when they had the dreams of, like, rehashes of, like, different scenes and shit. Because Enchantress made him see it. And I was like, man, what are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, where the wife's like... I gonna... killed Betsy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And the wife's like, we're going to kick it. And I'm just like, the dialogue so bad. B-E-T. <laughs> BET was really bad. B-E-T. The horrible line. It was not funny at all. But, like, the dialogue in the first part of the movie was great when he was like, What's this shit? He's like, That's loaf. Like, it's got some toenails, some fucking rat shit. I was just like, Hell yeah. Yeah. And then it just went all soft. It did go super soft. <laughs> it's like that. they crashed the fucking helicopter and they just walked out. And I'm just like, What was the purpose of that shit. And who shot him down anyway? Who? Their their chopper. Uh, another chopper that had came by. I mean, like she had like three helicopters. Okay, wait, wait. We have to no, think about No, but who this. shot their chopper down? Amanda Waller's chopper? Or no, their th- chopper. Their chopper. When they first got there, and then they all got out. Vork, who shot? Who shot? Who shot? Uh, who shot Suicide Squad's chopper when they started rolling? Was it? I can't even remember right now. It was just like out of nowhere. These machines got shot him down. Why? And so then, like, they get up to the top of the building, and that Amanda, part was really confusing anyway. Though. And oh yeah, and then like. Amanda Waller is the one that they're actually there to rescue. So it's like, why? So wait, there were three and, and helicopters, she's like, though? Yeah, and she's like, I was just testing out Enchantress. It's like, you just put yourself in, you got yourself captured on. She's like, why would you be like right next, like ground zero where she's doing all this shit? Remember? Wait, wait, wait. Did Amanda Waller hop in the same pl- a helicopter as Suicide Squad? She was in a no, different one, right? So there were three one. helicopters. Joker had one, too. Damn! <laughs> Niggas is on it, boy. I tell you what. He stole one. That was stolen. So that was, they had, because that was theirs originally. You know what I'm saying? But that shit got shot down. And then, and then they shot down Amanda Waller's. Who shot down Amanda Waller's helicopter? That's what I'm trying to remember. That's what I'm saying. That had to be three, like, destructions. Three helicopters got destroyed. But what did those things take over? Like, ops or the army or what? I don't know. They didn't really explain that either. Because he was, like, killing motherfuckers in the beginning, like, the soldiers and shit. He wasn't, like, turning them motherfuckers. He was just, like, like on the, in the subway when he came out. He was just, like, and just, like, laying them out. So, like, I didn't, I didn't even understand how people were surviving anyway. Because they was gone. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Like, maybe they came back. But it didn't matter because that shot was just, like, doming them. They're like zombies. He was literally fucking them up. They just should have left everyone else at home. Because what did Diablo do that one thing? Oh, I guess not. Diablo was, was pretty important. And I actually like Diablo. But, yeah, you're right. He, his, the ending was weird. Like, his his so transformation. He killed, so he killed his own family. Because of why? I don't know. But his transformation was really weird, though. Like, if you think about it. Because kind of came out of nowhere, bro. Like. I wasn't expecting. He this looked shit, like you know Diablo from the Diablo video game. He looked like he, he looked like that thing from Lord of the Rings. But let's see that part where they had him all in that trance was pretty dumb. That's what I'm saying like the third act was awful. Like what part of the third act was good? You know what I'm saying? Like no, it was stupid as hell. And 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 then Captain Boomerang kept losing this stuffed unicorn. He he felt like nothing, and Killer Croc felt like nothing too. Like that, they are both people who should have never even been there, to be honest. If you think about it, like Killer Croc. But who no knows? barrel roll. Yo, thanks but for that who, follow, dude. But who knows what 
like the original cut was like. No, 